Hi there and welcome to our unboxing of the brand new Sony Xperia XZ2. This is Sony's flagship device for 2018, the successor to the XZ1 from last year. Looking at the retail packaging, grey box with the Sony branding and on the back a few of the key specifications. So the 19 megapixel motion eye camera, that's the 4K compatible ultra slow motion video camera, 5 megapixel front camera, 5.7 inch full HD display that's also HDR certified, USB-C connection, fairly large battery, 3,180 milliamps, Qualcomm 845 processor, so the most recent Qualcomm silicon, Sony sticking with Qualcomm for their processors in 2018, and 4 gig, 64 gig configuration on the memory, and also IP6568 certified for water and dust resistance. Um, and something that is new on Sony devices there, Qi, we've got Qi wireless charging, the first Sony flagship smartphone to have wireless charging built in without having to use an accessory or a case or something. So that's now built into the unit. Uh, taking the phone out, we've got the black model, kindly sent to us by Sony UK. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. First off, the box contents. So here is the, we've got the three pin UK charger. If you buy from a different region, you will of course get your regional charger. Quick charge three, Pump Express two certified. So this is a quick charger. There we are. And some documentation in there. We don't need that for now. USB-C cable, uh, USB-A standard on the other side. No headphones in the box. Um, you do get a USB-C to 3.5 mm audio adapter. And that's because if we take a look through the phone and what it looks like, there's no headphone jack anymore. So on the top or the bottom, where you'd normally expect a headphone jack on a Sony device, they have removed it from the 2018 line. So they're following that design trend started a couple of years ago. On the bottom of the phone, the only port there is the USB-C port. And on the top of the phone, we've got a microphone and the SIM SD tray. Um, this is a single SIM device. Dual SIM models are available in some regions, uh, not through us in the UK. Uh, if you get a dual SIM model, it will be a hybrid slot. So the second slot will be either SD or second SIM. For the single SIM version, it's just an SD slot. On the left hand side, antenna lines, fairly clean, nothing else. And on the right hand side, volume rocker, power button, and the dedicated camera key, which doubles as a two-stage shutter button when you're in the camera app. Fingerprint sensor used to be on the side with the old Sony flagship phones incorporated into the power button. There are apparently some patent issues in America that stopped them from having that enabled in America, so they've relocated it to the back. It's under this sticker, which is factory applied, and this just tells you where the wireless charging and the SIM ports and everything are. So if we peel this sticker off, and we get our lovely glossy black finish. Uh, so the fingerprint sensor is here, directly underneath the main motion eye camera, which also has the NFC tag, the laser autofocusing, the flash, all above it. Uh, Sony have centralized the camera on the back of the phones. They used to be offset. Now I think the central position is much better if you're taking a picture with the phone you want it centered, it helps to get your, your alignment correct when you're taking a picture. And here, just visible in this glossy back is an Xperia branding as well. So there's a few other colors. There's a petrol green or deep green, which is a kind of oil slick effect. There's a blue and a silver model. This is the deep black or liquid black. I forget which the official terminology is for it. Um, now let's peel off the screen cover that comes with. You're gonna get a lovely reflection of the camera there because this is a very clean, glossy screen. So the power button on the side, this one's been set up, and the fingerprint sensor, which I did set up earlier. Let's just tap that, and we are straight into the device. So one quick vibration and we're in. Android 8 Oreo, pre-installed. Sony were one of the first um, OEM manufacturers to get Android Oreo onto their phones. And of course it's on the XZ2, and they're pretty good with their updates as well. You get quite, so there's the Google Now to the left some pre-installed applications on the phone. You've got the PlayStation app, you've got Sony's versions of the main Android stock apps, Facebook and a few other things installed, pre-installed. Um, they've still got the app drawer, so you don't have to swipe up. You've got an actual app drawer button. Uh, oh, there's a software update to do. We don't have to do that now, let's go away. Um, so there it is, that is the 
Xperia XZ2. Um, in the hand, it's quite a large device. We can see from the from the side, we've got a bit of a bulge on the back, and this is Sony's new design language. Um, before they were known for having these fairly blocky angular phones, very rectangular. Um, some some people kind of commented that they were uncomfortable to hold. They've rounded off the edges, they've rounded off the sides and the corners, and they've they've put this kind of bulge onto the back, which um, puts a little bit of extra space for battery, which is nice. Some people will say, oh, I don't want that, I want a flat phone. As you can see, it, it, it still sits comfortably on a surface. It rocks ever so slightly, but only if you put pressure on it. If you leave it sat by itself, it doesn't slip or slide any more than any other phone. Um, and that, that extra kind of roundness to the edges, I think, does help with, with the grip in the hand. Um, in terms of the, the bezels, they haven't gone for the full edge-to-edge um, bezel, sort of bezel-less design. Um, the glass does go to the edge, but there are some very thin bezels there, if I can capture it without the light glaring off it. So there are thin bezels on the side. It does have a chin with the Sony logo. It does have a, a bezel at the top with the camera. Although it is an 18 to 9 screen, so they followed that trend as well. The Samsung started it on their full view displays, um, infinity displays, etc. from all the other all the other manufacturers. So this is an 18 to 9 screen. It follows that trend, but it isn't purely bezel-less. Um, some people want that bezel-less design. Um, it is it is the current trend in phone manufacturing. I think you can still have a nicely symmetrical looking phone without it. Um, if you want a bezel-less phone, this isn't for you, but otherwise you've still got a very large 5.7 inch um, 18 to nine display, and it's it's a glorious looking display when you start looking through all of the, the pictures and videos you can take on it, HDR certified. Um, so, if having a little chin and a little bit of bezel doesn't bother you, this is still, I think, one of the ni most nicely manufactured phones around at the moment, and that extra curve on the back really does, does help hold it. So there we are. That is the Xperia XZ2. Thanks for watching.